The five moves of doom is a popular term to describe the sequence of maneuvers John Cena uses for a comeback. I could increase my work rate. I could add to the five moves of doom. But this trope is not limited to just Cena, as nearly every major wrestler has their go-to moves they like to perform one after the other. And Flair crashing in! Hogan mounting his legendary comeback! Today we're highlighting some of the most famous examples, as we list 20 wrestlers with the five moves of doom. Bret Hart was one of the first to polarize using the same four or five offense moves each match in quick succession. It wasn't a Formula 8 comeback, but rather a chain of his go-to moves, sometimes hitting two or three of such maneuvers back to back, like the Russian leg sweep, backbreaker, and elbow drop combo. Side Russian leg sweep! Elbow right off the top! But Hart smells victory! Right back to the he can't put him away. And the elbow. Let you do it. Before this, though, the excellence of execution liked to hit moves like the Bulldog, Superplex, and Atomic Drop. Especially from the Bulldog. Down goes. Oh, no. The elevator goes down. Oh, what a suplex. I'm talking about it now. Inverted Atomic Drop. The smoothly executed sharpshooter closed out Brett's renowned moveset. Stepping through, crosses it over. Sharpshooter is complete. There's only one way that Bret Hart put it on. Are we going to see it? Are we going to see the sharpshooter? He's going to the sharpshooter. He's going to the sharpshooter. He's, sharp He's got it. He's got the sharpshooter. There's no way he get the rope. And the referee's caught over the net. It's his shot. It's February. And look at this. Gold dust and surrendering. Did check the referee, but he did oh! A massive Bret Hart fan, CM Punk no doubt modeled some of his style and moveset after the Hitman. This includes part of Punk's comeback since he also uses a variation of the Bulldog while also interchanging moves. Before that though, Punk likes to hit a calf kick or neck breaker. Oh, there's a pump right to the face. A neck breaker by Punk! The knee strike in the corner is followed up with either the Bulldog we mentioned or a short arm clothesline. Over the top, here comes Punk with a high running knee! That there's vintage Punk as he's bouncing up with the Bulldog! We spoke about earlier, and there's the high running knee! And see a punk looking to follow it up with a clothesline, and he does. What a reaction! Bulldog clothesline! From there, Punk pays tribute to the late Macho Man with a diving elbow drop from the top. Then it's time to go to sleep as the taunt proceeds Punk's finishing maneuver. CM Punk signaling it's time. Well, it's nap time. Yeah, time to go 99. Little nap time. It'd be 99 time. Is it night night for the nightmare? Dean in a pro position. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Connects. Get in. Go to sleep. The Undertaker's signature offense is characterized by a strong flurry of fast-paced, impactful moves that form an effective comeback. He usually starts things off with his famous sit-up. And now somehow, looking to put The Undertaker away. Oh, no! Undertaker sets up! That's right. Sit-up! Cena oh! stopped in his tracks! Oh, no! Not yet! Not yet! Oh, what a WrestleMania moment! The Snake Eyes in the corner precedes a big boot and leg drop combination. Out, Kennedy. A boot to the skull. Michael's not a gambler, oh, man. Fuck. Just got dealt snake eyes. Oh! Here comes Watch the out. big boot! And the leg oh, drop by the Undertaker! All in preparation for the choke Sam, equipped with another taunt. The hand held high can only mean one thing. For measuring Mark Henry. Mark Henry in trouble. Undertaker! You're gonna pick up a 400 pound game. The Phenom also has the Tombstone pile driver at the ready. Vintage taker to say the least. This, Michael, say it. This is Vintage Undertaker, right? Choke slam! Tombstone pile driver! Uh oh! Oh my god! Undertaker's Tombstone pile driver! This is the way we play it! Get on your head! Randy Orton's smooth and technically sound in ring style can be observed during his signature comeback that combines two quick clotheslines with a snap power slam. Oh. And here comes Orton, the apex predator of the WWE preying on Slater. Oh. Down goes Ford again and again. 
Oh my god! Bad timing for Montez! Randy Orton all sorts of fired up! Featuring perhaps the best execution of said move in the whole of wrestling. And for Rolly Thunder! What a power slam by Orton! Went for the spear! What a counter! A power slam counter! Randy Orton! That is a thing of beauty! He's back! It is art! At this point, the crowd are up because they know what's coming next. As he feeds off the energy of the audience, Orton hypes himself up that bit more before hitting the draping DDT. Randy Orton with the DDT! Vintage! Now it's time for what everyone's been waiting for. The Viper stalks and measures his opponent to signal for the world famous RKO. Randy Orton slithering. Oh, watch, like out, watch, out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! RKO! And the Viper oh, is going! Uh oh! And a trifecta! RKO from Randy Orton! To try to put Tonga away! Shawn Michaels trademark comeback has remained the same for most of his career. Since it works so well, the flying forearm into a kip up is paired with an atomic drop or scoop sam. HBK is now poised to fly through the air. His diving elbow drop is a magnificent sight. The crowd are up and it's all building to the sweet chin music as Michaels tunes up the band to hit the final shot. Triple H's full comeback typically only consists of three moves, four if you include the high knee. Nevertheless, it's still just as iconic. He's in it all right. Oh, the bloody knee by Triple H! Starting with the face buster, which the game usually cuts off his opponent with. There is a face buster to Sheamus. He is the thinking man wrestler. Oh, look at this now! Triple H plants the face of Kane into his knee! A high impact spine buster plants the wrestler into the mat. I think it's, I think it's Batista and Edge. Oh, what a thing of beauty, that was. Serious. The cerebral assassin's taunt to cue up his classic pedigree finisher is next. Spike, Perry, yeah. and all that pedigree, or a spine blast, let me do it. And that's all she wrote. The pedigree, oh, that pedigree. Get this and pedigree, oh, yeah. pedigree. Oh, baby. Can he pedigree the five hundred pounder? You bet he can. The and get him to the lane. You sink it in. Oh. When coming up in the business, Batista was told to learn four or five moves and do them very well each match. The animal came up with a strong barrage of power moves that built to the big finish. Big Dave kicked things off with a running power, Sam. Look at the strength of the animal. That is pure strength, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Johnny is 317. No, 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 no. Oh, my God, ladies and gentlemen. Batista put all his weight behind a spear, pairing it with a powerful spine buster. Oh, oh what a spear. Oh. And a spear. The shaking of the ropes along with the thumbs up, thumbs down tour teed up the patented Batista bomb. I think we have our answer. Cena. Uh oh. William Regal. Oh. Does he have enough left? Power wide. Oh man! Showing his dominance here. Comes up. Must go down. Batista bomb. This guy's a freak, man. Thumbs down. Check this out. Batista bomb! Kane's comeback combines power moves with a bit of high flying sprinkled in. He begins with a clothesline in the corner and sidewalk Sam. Wait a minute, this is gonna matter to Xbox. Oh man! Nowhere to go with one arm. Sidewalk slam by Kane. Kane on fire with a huge club. 
punch lines. He's got one for everybody. Okay, now catching Dave on sidewalk slam. After that, Kane treats us with a flying clothesline from the top. It's amazing to see the big red machine leap with such agility. The red machine perked to the top. Look out! Oh my god! Be hit the rattlesnake! Look out! And caught Backles with a clothesline off the top. That's a seven foot, 320 pounder. The seven foot monster preps his hand for the choke slam, which is traditionally the last movie hits in a match. He's out on the street! Kane flies! You can sense the end is near for Albert. He's going to make it! But Kane also has the Tombstone pile driver in his repertoire, ready to bust out when the time is right. Oh, oh, no. Somebody distracted him, and Kane with a choke slam. Oh, no. Tombstone pile driver. And I believe the night is about to get much worse. Double Tombstone pile driver. When it comes to fast-paced, high-flying comebacks, look no further than Daniel Bryan. Bryan could tip the match in his favor just like that by first reversing an Irish whip with a backflip from the top rope, springing off and nailing a flying clothesline. He's he's wrestled in a high school gym in front of whoa, whoa, 50 look people. look at that! Okay, he was impressive there. But you like the rest of these internet guys tweeting and blocking. Nice. And Bryan up over the top. And Ziggler misses wildly, and suddenly Brian's building momentum. I'm high right now, laser focused on Zayden Owens. Oh, oh. there you go, Brian. Look at that! Oh. This opens the floodgates for an extensive onslaught of moves that feature the yes kicks. Yes. 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 That could be it! Oh, this is just classic. Here's how it's done, Corey. A top rope shotgun drop kick. Brian continues to fight oh, back here. Oh, 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 oh. Missile drop kick right on the top, right in the mush. Running drop kicks in the corner. I was just trying to talk sense into Sammy and Kevin. And now he's making them pay for it. The Busaiku kick. Now he's setting Fondango up for the running knee. Can he connect here? Don't turn around, Fondango. Daniel Bryan caught him. Yes, 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 Daniel Bryan can be one knee away from causing Yeslemania again this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. And arm trap stomps that can be transitioned into the label lock. To the side of the head. And the prod there is in. There it is. Label lock is on. Come on, Miz. You got to get to the bottom rope to break this. It's oh! The stumps are sometimes preceded by Brian screaming that he's going to kick the opponent's head in. Barbaric artwork. Two knees for Danielson. Chris Benoit prided his offense on looking as real as possible, including the three consecutive rolling German suplexes, which he hit with great force and intensity. Continuing to hold on to that waist lock, and that's three suplex. Right on those mood beats, or wisdom beats as he calls them. Beats are flying around. Yeah, some of those beats have come loose. Hat trick. You see Lesnar reaching for the ropes there, but Benoit has left the position beautifully in the middle of the ring. The Crippler was one of the original mayors of Suplex City, as he continuously threw his opponents over his shoulder again and again. And Benjamin, trying to hold on, and Benoit plants Benjamin for the three amigos. The rabid Wolverine used a throw slash to signal for the infamous diving headbutt. That Benoit is determined that that. Oh! Uh oh. Chris Jericho! Look out! It seems as if Benoit is now in the driver's seat. Oh! Jesus! He's not gonna do what I think, is he? Oh no, come on! On the top of a 16 foot line! Oh, oh, yeah! Benoit, Benoit, going to the top rope, MVP in trouble, the United States champion, an MD. Come on, Chris. No! Don't do it. Don't do it. No, no, no. the top of the cage. Chris rounded it off with a crippler crossface, a submission which pretty much everyone he wrestled against tapped to at one point. I've never, ever met a man that stepped into that ring with me that has not tapped and has been put in a crossface. Big torture! <laughs> Batista being tortured! Batista being... He tapped! He tapped! 
Kurt Angle threw wrestlers around the ring like it was an Olympic sport. That's because it quite literally was for him. So it was only fitting that Angle hit as many suplexes as possible. Like when he would throw his opponents overhead with the belly to belly. Kurt also had one of the best German suplexes, so when he locked the arms and popped the hips, the other wrestler was going up no matter what. He always capitalized on. Oh, man! But you're right, that's the big thing that. What, what the hell's this? Look at this! Double German oh. suplex! Kurt Angle! Oh. Suplex machine! No! no. Oh. And it feels good! There goes Seamus! <laughs> Join the party! All the Germans and belly to bellies were the starters for the Angle Sam previously known as the Olympic Sam. This was another of Kurt's eye catching throws that worked well as his signature move. His signature hold, however, was typically still to come. At this point, Angle is zoned in, intense as can be, and ready to finish it off. Pulling down the straps was his final boss move, as he looked to finish his opponent with the ankle lock. Angle was already like a man possessed, so once he got hold of the ankle to lock in his patented submission, it was game over. And if that wasn't enough, Kurt could still grapevine the ankle, tearing it to shreds. Rolling desperately to the bottom row, oh. but Angle continues the pressure. Now he's got the leg wrap, the pit full leg. Kurt Angle hanging on, and now leg loose in that ankle lock. That's got to be it. Oh, no. Angle's grapevine the leg. This ankle lock's been locked in. How much can he stand? Eddie Guerrero blended together a fast-paced technical style that can be observed through his typical closing sequence. First, he would shake off any of the opponent's offense. And yet to officially get into the oh, oh, what the John. hell is this? Oh, let me think about that for a minute. Look at Eddie Guerrero. Oof. Then the three amigos were hit with pace and velocity. Anytime Eddie popped the hips to send his opponents up and over, fans knew the end of the match may be near. Bam! Of his own. There's the hip spinning by Eddie Guerrero. Patented. Oh yeah, suplex. Classic Eddie Guerrero. Yep, going for the three amigos. There's the second. The three amigos, perhaps, on the way. Look at the quickness here. Look at that textbook. And there's a third one. Watch those hips. Bam! Yep, he's using his left arm. Great strategy by Eddie Guerrero. There's a backdrop. Nice. That's textbook Guerrero. There's the second one. The three amigos trying to wear Mysterio down. Oh my God. Oh my God. Latino Heat capped off the three amigos with his Viva La Raza taunt to signal for the end. Eddie took to the skies, quickly folding his body in midair to come down and execute the frog splash. Rob Van Dam's one-of-a-kind moveset makes him a treat to watch in the ring. The rolling thunder is one of the main highlights as he moves across the ring to build momentum. Maybe a storm oh. brewing. Little rolling thunder. Oh. And now what's up here? RBD. A little bit of rolling thunder. Boom. And the way across the ring. Oh. Here it comes. Let's go, Rob. Oh, look out. Rolling thunder. To keep his opponent down for the frog splash, RVD likes to spring off the ropes to land a diving thrust kick. Van Dam scores with a kick. And now RVD, oh, oh catches that score. Right off that middle row. Now Van Dam is ready to showcase his most breathtaking maneuver by flying through the air and getting tremendous height before coming down for the five star frog splash. We see this at Battleground on ADR. RVD, oh, five star frog splash. Big time. He's doing it! Oh! 
Rob lands with such force that he bounces off and even sells the effects of the move before going for the cover. And someone's feeling a little five starish. Jeff Hardy's enigmatic persona extends to his unique in-ring style. Jeff's wide array of eye-catching moves includes a scissor-style leg drop, Way too long. Oh, the fake. which he later began combining with an atomic drop, basement drop kick, and occasional splash. Inverted atomic drop by Hardy. Uh-oh. Classic oh. Jeff Hardy. WWE. Inverted atomic drop. Classic Jeff Hardy. The whisper in the wind is a thing of beauty. Hardy quickly scales the rope to corkscrew in mid-air. Wait, wait, wait. Look out here, Jeff Hardy. The Hardy signature twist of fate is Jeff's main secondary move. The charismatic Enigma transitioned it from a cutter into a stunner after returning to WWE in 2017. The Swanton Bomb is Jeff's greatest weapon. Hardy gracefully soars in the air, turning at the last second to nail his iconic finish. Booker T liked a side comeback by either using a delayed spine buster or the Harlem sidekick. He put his hands on the cat again. Here comes the champ. Oh, that nice heel kick by Booker T. Bunchy. Ooh, just you. Booker T. He is the greatest WCW champion of all time. Uh oh. Fuck. The bookend was used as a finisher in WCW and the early part of his WWF run. Booker's got him up. He's got him up the bookend. After that, he was transitioned to a setup move for the rest of Book's career. Despite not being an offensive maneuver, the spinner Rooney was the most popular tool in Booker's repertoire. You just can't beat the entertainment side of wrestling. The spinner Rooney was a bridge between moves as it often preceded the scissor kick. Booker's long legs meant that the axe like scissor kick was a believable finisher, especially since Book could make it seem like he'd nearly taken his opponent's head off. Shocked him by Guerrero. Booker T taking out Orlando. She may try the axe kick here. Here it comes. Oh, he kicked Mickey J in the back of the head. The Rock usually cut off his opponent to mount a comeback with either the Samoan drop or a DDT. The Rock combined the DDT with a kip up. The Rock Bottom has ended countless matches. He's like the Scorpion King. He's coiled. Big one! But the most popular weapon in Rocky's arsenal was still to come. Before that, though, the People's Champ kept his opponent down with a strong spine buster. Rock right now, spine buster the puck. Oh my! Oh my gosh! Oh! Spine buster on the pie! From there, the crowd were on their feet to witness the pageantry and sheer spectacle that was the People's Elbow. Cody Rose's athletic ability is on full display during his comeback. It starts with a running forearm and power slam out of the corner. To the entrance of Cody Rose. And Cody, nice power slam. Quickly meets Nakamura and down goes Shinsuke. Power slam by Rose. Rose then springs off the ropes to nail a disaster kick. It's a way of consistently pulling out victories. 
A nice power slam by Cody. They got a lot of energy. Cody! Pick it up, speed! Oh, LA Knight's rock to the corner, he goes. Cody's looking fresh. Cody Rhodes. Disaster kick! Cody is just craftier than most. Oh, oh, oh. The Cody cutter feeds into his finishing move, which the American Nightmare hypes himself and the crowd up for. For confident Balor. Cody wants the Cody cutter! Nailed it! Cody Cutter for the middle rope. Wait, 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 wait. No! Cody Cutter! <laughs> Cody! Cody, Cody Cutter! Cutter! The crossroads is a maneuver that looks both smooth and impactful. Has Gable where he wants him! Oh! Crossroads! Cody hooking AJ Styles, middle of the ring, crossroads! He's gonna do it! Crossroads! During his original babyface run, Roman Reigns had a high-octane comeback that saw him land a series of clotheslines, including in the corner, and as well as this, a running big boot. Not to mention a drive-by kick, and of course, the Samoan drop. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Uh -oh. the money man get away now! and what he brings to the table. It has led to the success that Roman Reigns has had here in the WWE. Some of it. Uh-oh, Reigns, some of it. Oh, big boot, Joe got caught right in the face. And now Roman Reigns has Joe in oh. by position. Is in a mood tonight. Oh, what a kick to the face. What a war Roman Reigns went through last night. The oh. last turn. The Superman punch, preceded by a taunt and fist plan, always drew a good reaction. One czar as he has eyes locked and loaded throughout Roman Reigns' career. Reigns. And they swing. Oh, oh. locked and loaded. And Superman punch oh, to go. No. Roman Reigns stares at Kane. Superman punch. And he takes out Ryback. Reigns. Oh, big oh, no, Superman no, no, no. Fans were at their peak during Roman's matches when he revved up for and then successfully hit the spear. On attacking. If you're the big dog, Roman Reigns realizes that. Oh my God. John Cena and the iconic five moves of Doom is the quintessential wrestling comeback sequence. It builds and builds with each maneuver as does the crowd reaction, beginning with the two flying shoulder tackles into the protoplex, which Cena used as a finisher in his early career. Cena, shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. And John oh. Cena, John Cena trying to rally here against Corbin. Cena tackle bothered in there, obviously. Oh, shut down slam by John Cena. Then comes the five knuckle shuffle, one of those trademark wrestling moves that just works. All you have to do is just listen to the fan response. The AA, formerly the FU, rounds things out. It almost looks like an F5! John Cena! Down ass with the Death Valley driver! Oh my! Here we go! The lead us up! FU, maybe! Here we go! FU! Could be an FU! Hang on! Hang on! Christian hanging on to the rope! John Cena on display. Oh! Look out! This time! John briefly debuted a sixth move of Doom after spending time in China with Jackie Chan. In English, the maneuver is known as the Lightning Fist. I'm very excited to debut something that I've learned here that maybe I can take uh, a piece of my Chinese experience back to the world. Shen Yan! Juan Tu! Okay. You don't think we're gonna see it, do you? Oh my gosh! Shen Yan Juan Tu! Great. The lightning fist! <laughs> We've saved the most famous example till last, because if we're talking big match comebacks, then no one got a better reaction than Hulk Hogan. He would first start with the iconic Hulk up, followed up by proclaiming you to his opponent.
to compete. That's from Hogan. Back to his feet. Hulk Hogan defeated Andre the Giant. Look at Here in Detroit. 15 years ago. I'll get it right. Try to come back. Uh-oh. Oh. He's 18,000 club fans can feel it. Hogan just brings the people right into it. After shaking off his opponent's punches, the Hulks are fired back with a few shots of his own. Reaching down inside for that extra something. Look at the look on his face. Slaughter comes in. Oh, look at this. Oh, here that may have been a mistake. Money can't buy it, DiBiase. You're going to have to earn it. Hogan hammering away. A Hulkster. Look at that. A Hulkster on his feet. Maybe nothing can stop it. With Hulkamania running wild in the stands, Hogan put up the boot and performed his taunts in anticipation for the end. Hogan! With a right hand! With a nice big thing! A shot at the rocket! SummerSlam in the belly! Oh! It's the Hulkster! Hogan back into the ring! The double team! By Hogan and Edge! Oh, the thing! Double! Boom! Boom! It's a Carlito! They want it! Yes, they want it, Hulkster! Here it comes! Oh! There was usually only going to be one winner when Hulk hit the leg drop. I can't believe this is happening! Oh! Now if you enjoyed this video be sure to check out our similar videos in the series of iconic special moves and taunts in wrestling. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.